Hello and welcome to Design Alpha. This video is part 3 of a mini-series I'm making to teach different ways to make animations using SketchUp. In part 1, I demonstrated how to make a simple turntable-styled animation, and in part 2 I showed how to create a more advanced stop-motion video with the help of Adobe Acrobat. Both these videos have been linked in the description below. Now, in this final part of this series, I'll be teaching how to make an animated GIF using the same frame technique I showed in part 2. For this tutorial, you will require the latest or as close to version of Photoshop, which similarly to Acrobat can be acquired for free if you have access to a student license. Let's not wait any further and jump straight into today's video. Before we start anything in Photoshop, you're going to want to make sure you have your individual frames for your GIF. These are simply just screenshot PDFs taken in SketchUp. To save time, I'll be just reusing the frames I made in part 2, but if you want to learn how to make these frames, you can check out my previous video in this series linked in the top right corner right now. So once we're ready to move into Photoshop and you have all your frames ready to go, first thing you want to do is go up here to where it says File, click on that, go down the scripts, and down to Load Files into Stack. Then click on to browse. Once you have found where you have stored all the different frames in, on your PC, you're going to want to simply make sure you highlight all the frames by either dragging your mouse with your left mouse button across all of them, or alternatively clicking on the first one up here, and then going to the bottom, holding then your shift key and clicking the last one, and then pressing OK once you're done. And OK once more. Okay, so after a while your frames are going to all load in and they'll just sit still like that on the right hand side. It'll take a little bit, but it'll get there. Now with my one, you can see that up here in these corners, there's this checkered background. Now that is because this background is transparent. That is simply the uh, void in SketchUp if you take the photo without a plane like this, like a ground. So I recommend if you are going to take your frames or screenshots for whatever project you're working on in SketchUp, try and first of all lay down a flat ground over the entire uh, project that you're working on to prevent getting this transparent effect. Unless that's what you're going for, then in that case you would just keep the SketchUp void that's already there. So once you have all of your frames loaded in, you're going to want to go up to here to where it says Window and down to Timeline. This bottom section here will pop up and the next thing you want to do from there is go to your layers section and select all your layers by just like last time clicking on the first one which should be already highlighted like mine scrolling down and holding your shift key on your keyboard clicking the last one now with all your layers selected you want to go up to the layers panel at the top here click that and go down to arrange and reverse now the reason you do this is because for some reason when you make a GIF in Photoshop, it plays the frames in reverse. So if you took your frames, for example with my example here, I've got this lady going through this path here. I want her to be starting from the left side and then moving to the right. But for some reason if you load up your frames and then start the animation, it will go in reverse. So by reversing like that, it should play as you intend. Next in this bottom panel, you're going to want to click on this button here that says Create Frame Animation. Now, we only have one of the frames loaded in, so we're going to want to go to this right panel here, click on that, and then up here where it says Make Frames from Layers. Now we have all our layers set out, and if you want to test your GIF to see how it goes, you can click on this play button right here and by default my settings all seem to be in place however yours might play only one time it may play too slow may play too quick so if you want yours looking like mine is right now you're going to want to make sure this section here is ticked on to forever so that your gif plays indefinitely and if you want to change the different time duration of your frames for all of them, 
you're going to want to highlight all the different frames. So just like with your other times, make sure either your first or last frame is selected and holding down the shift key, go to the opposite direction, click on the drop down down here and select however many seconds you want it to be. For example, if I change it to one second and then press play, the animation will take a lot slower because it's one second for every frame. However, if I wanted to make it much quicker and make it go faster, I would have to make sure they're all selected and click on something such as 0.1 seconds. Alternatively, you can make each individual frame run off their own time. So you can vary it up however you may like. Something like this, for example. Once you are happy with how your GIF is played out, you want to go up to the top where it says File, down to Export, and over here where it says Save for Web in brackets Legacy. This screen will pop up and you want to let it load for a second. Make sure that the top right hand corner has been labeled as GIF instead of any of the other ones. And you finally want to just go down here to save and save it to wherever you want on your computer. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, consider liking it and subscribing to my channel for more design related tutorials posted regularly. Stick around for more exciting features coming soon to Design Alpha.